Scene 1. In the village of Belly Acres, it was time for the animal superboat contest. The person who created the best soup would receive a ladle made of solid gold. The night before the contest, Minnie Stoney called up her best friend, Anchovy. I hope the judges like this year's batch of my famous Minnie Stoney soup. Well, I've been cooking all day and my husband told me Aunt, my anchovy soup is still way too salty. Did you hear who the judges are? Broccoli and salami. They're tough. I suppose I don't know what when she's taken the golden ladle three years in a row. Oh, oh, I've got to go and my soup is boiled over. Bye, Minnie. Good luck. Scene two. It's the day of the big contest. Salami and broccoli are tasting the soups. They both stop for a second, helping the Ida Nose bowl. This is delicious. What do you call this wonderful soup? I don't know. This soup is both sweet and sour at the same time. What's in it? I don't know. Frank Furter was jealous. Just once I'd like to be the big wiener. I mean winner at this contest. Vitamin was angry. What's so great about I don't know soup? Now my soup is good for you. It has vitamins A, B, and C. The judges were about to declare I didn't know the winner when suddenly a stranger appeared carrying a large black soup kettle. Am I too late? My soup isn't ready yet, but it won't take long to prepare, and I bet it will win. What's your name, sir, and what kind of soup will you make? I'm Bill, Bill Loney, and I'm making stone soup. Stone, stone soup? soup? How do you make stone soup? I don't know. Everyone watched as Bill Loney filled his kettle with water to boil. Now I'll just add this ordinary stone. Seed three. Everyone was quiet as Bill Loney stirred his stone soup. After a little while, he tasted it. Well, is it stone soup yet? I just feel bad I didn't bring a carrot. Stone soup just isn't the same without a little chopped carrot thrown in. Well, I guess I can spare a carrot. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it's almost perfect. This would be the best patch of stone soup I ever made if I only had a potato. Here's a potato for you, Mr. Loney. It's full of vitamin C. You are a kind lady. Now let's see. You know my mom always added a little scrap of fresh meat. I don't suppose any of you. Help yourself. Now just a little salt and pepper. I have those. And some garlic, maybe an onion. Good luck, pal. Here's your onion. I brought you a little grated cheese, too. Mmm, doesn't the stove soup smell delicious? It sure does. It just has to cook a little bit more. Finally, salami and broccoli taste, tasted the stone soup. This is magnificent. We declare Bologna the winner with his amazing stone soup. Yay! Thanks. I'm in a hurry, so I'll just take my golden ladle and be on my way. How did he ever make such great soup out of his stone? I don't know. I want the recipe. Imagine all you need is a stone. Mmm. And a carrot and a potato and some meat. Hey, Bologna! Come back here. Somebody catch him.